Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. So today, we have another different kind of video for you guys. I'm trying to keep things beauty related, but want to include more things beauty. So today we're gonna be talking about nails. And I wanted to share with you guys some of my favorite nail products, being that I'm in the gym, I'm really hard on my hands. I wanted to share with you guys some products that I use that I think are good for long-term wear or if you want to switch things up it's just a quick little switch up and it's not going to do too much damage to your nails so today's video is going to focus on the madam glam gel nail polish set so i'm going to show you how i got these nails today using this set and share some other products with you that i love as well before we get into the video, if you're new, I would love to have you join the family. So please hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you know every time I upload, we do makeup hauls, hair videos, nails, tutorials, <laughs> reviews, a little bit of everything. If you want to see some of the nail products that I've been loving that hold up in the gym under my workouts, stay tuned and keep on watching. So we're gonna start talking about the polish that I have on my nails right now. Now, I do keep my nails very short, but they are also extremely thin, and they bend, they break, they chip. They've gotten better because I do take biotin, I do take hair, nail, skin, vitamins, I take collagen, whatever I can to help them, but sometimes I wanna change my nails up and I, will not get acrylics like i did that years ago and i just refused to do it so i was really excited when madam glam reached out to me to try their gel nail kit because i know that gel nails are a little harder than just putting regular polish on your nails and if i polish my nails with just regular polish within if they last a whole day two at the most they start chipping and peeling because my nails literally bend so I was very intrigued by this and I hoped and got exactly what I wanted that these would make my nails harder a little bit but this is also a soak off formula so it's not going to just chip and peel off so I'm really excited about that. A little bit about the brand just in case you guys are curious they have been in business since 2014 and they are cruelty free gluten-free and they have 21 free formula and it's a certified vegan gel polish formula so i do have a clip that i'm going to insert of me actually doing my nails and how the system works but i can tell you right now i'm going to be buying more colors because it was so easy and i absolutely love it so check out how i did my nails so these products by madam glam it's just basically gel nail polish. It's super easy. And one thing that you need to remember is that you need to prep your nails and then also that you need to apply really thin coats when you're doing this. You don't wanna just goop it on because it's gonna make it hard to dry and it's a whole mess. So to start off, as you can see, this is what my nails look like. They are very thin. I keep them short because that's just easier, but you can see that they have my nails chip, they peel. I usually try to do press-ons if I wanna do anything with them, but I also have some other options I'll tell you about. So right now, I'm just going to lightly buff my nails. I don't like doing this too much because like I said, my nails are already thin. My hands are ashy because my hands are clean. You do want all the oils removed from your hands. And then I've already pushed my cuticles back, but I'm going to take some alcohol and make sure my nails are completely clean and free of oil. So this is just an alcohol that I get from the drugstore, no big deal. Put a little bit on a cotton pad and just put that on my nails real quick and then we will be ready to go. So with the polish, you get a base coat, and then you also get a top coat. And then these are the three colors that I picked. So this is Organic Lavender, which this one, <coughs> excuse me, 
which this one is a glitter. And I also picked a white, but it is a very gorgeous white because it, I don't know if you guys can see this. I hope you can, how it has a little bit of sparkle in it and it almost looks slightly lavender a little bit. Super cute. And then this, of course I had to have a purple. I'm competing this week, this weekend in Kansas City and every time, almost every time I do a meet, my nails are purple. So this is gonna be perfect. You also get this mini UV light and super cute and I like that this is small it's very travel friendly it comes with this USB cord it does not have a power supply so you do have to get that yourself and then here is the lamp so you just pull these little legs out so just like that and then you put your nails underneath so super cute so we're gonna start off with our base coat and like I said it needs to be a super thin layer and then you cure it for 30 seconds so we're just going to put this under and push the button and voila now one thing i will say i do like to do my thumbs separately because i feel like if i try to put it under with the other fingers I'm turning my hand kind of crazy. My thumb might not get the whole side of it, so it's just better to be safer and do it this way. It takes a little bit more time, but I'd rather do it right. So just for fun today, I am gonna do both of these colors and I'm just going to alternate nails to do it. I wanna give you guys a few tips because sometimes you can do everything right and then your polish will still chip. So you wanna make sure when you're putting the polish on that you do not get it on your cuticles because if you do, it's going to peel. And y'all excuse my burn. I feel like my hands look like trash, but that's why we're doing this. We're gonna get it together. So I'm gonna start with the purple. And again, we are just applying very thin layers. And another tip, when you do this, you want to make sure that you also go around the edge of your nail just to make sure that that is sealed as well. So you paint your whole nail and then you go around the edge of it. I don't normally hold my hands like this, so that's why they're shaking. I'm all right. <laughs> Very thin layer and then cap off the edge like this. So that is it, that is the first layer. So I'm gonna do each of these and then cure them. And if so, if you do somehow manage to get it on your cuticles, just make sure to take it off because again, you don't wanna spend all this time doing this work and then your nails end up chipping or peeling back so it's just to make sure it lasts longer i don't know i hope this color is coming off right it is not a pure white it is a lavender kind of tinted white and because this one is a little thinner we will have to do an extra coat but again they just need to be thin coats and apply more than one layer So that is that, that is the first layer and now we cure and we repeat until you get the desired effect. All right, so I'm done with the coats of polish that I want. I did two of the purple and then three of the white shade just because it's a little thinner. And now to finish, all we need to do is apply a thin layer of the top coat and this is just going to help seal everything in and you are going to cure it as well and then that will be it i'm going to finish off with a cuticle oil to help my nails and my fingers not be so ashy and i'll be good to go so absolutely love how easy this is again just a thin coat like you did everything else cap off the edges and simple as that
So that is it. I'm just gonna cure these. I've been doing like three rounds each coat. So just check in between, touch a spot to make sure that it's cured completely so you'll know if it's ready to go. So that is it. I'm gonna finish off with some cuticle oil, finish these nails, put some lotion on my hands, and then I'm gonna share with you guys some other nail products that I love. Now I realized in the video, I did not even tell you guys the names of the colors in case you wanted to know. So the purple color I have on, this is Ho Ho Holo, Holo, like holographic. This is the bottle, it's purple and it has blue sparkles in it. So that is what I'm wearing. And then the second shade is White Lace. And I absolutely love this one because I wanted a white, but I didn't want just a generic white. And I don't know if you guys can see, maybe you can see it better on my fingers, but it's like a, it's white, but it's almost like a lilac purple white, like really, really light. So I also got another shade, which I did not wear yet. This is Organic Lavender. This one is more of a glitter. So that is the top of the polish bottle there to show you what the shade looks like. And it is a very chunky glitter. I'm gonna try not to make a mess while I show you this. If you can see there, super chunky. So I can't wait to play with that one, but I am definitely gonna order some more shades. Another tip that I also forgot to mention, I didn't realize until I watched another video on these that after I cured my nails, I was like, why does this still feel sticky? There is a layer and it's called the inhibition layer that even after you cure them, it's going to feel like your nails aren't done. Once you've cured for the entire amount of time, I did extra curing just to make sure, wipe your nails off with alcohol. When you do that, it's gonna be shiny and it's gonna take off that sticky layer so your nails are gonna be done. It won't mess them up, I promise. I wanna say thank you to Madam Glam. Of course, they gave me a discount code for you guys. Anytime I share something, I do try to get a code so that you guys can get a discount if you wanna try it. The code is barbellbarbie30 and that's gonna get you 30% off your order. So if you wanna try it, I actually like that they have a starter kit that comes with the lamp and then also the top coat, the base coat, and you can pick a color. So if you're just starting off, you may wanna do that and then expand your colors later, but you're gonna love it. I mean, I need more shades. Two other products that I wanted to share with you that I absolutely love for when I wanna change up my nails. The first, of course, is press-on nails. I do prefer the press-ons that already have the sticky tab versus glue mainly because I don't know if it's just the shape of my nails, but I feel like glue on nails tend to pop off. I've tried different glues, I've tried different nails. Those are usually like I can wear them for a couple days and then something's gonna pop off. But I can get a week out of my press on nails that have the glue backs on them and this is working out and everything. So the main brand that I buy is Impress. So this is one of the sets that I really love. These are white with the little blue accent. And then I also buy Dashing Diva. And this is another set that I really love. It's gray, but it also has like that white marble accent and then the swirl with the glitter. They have the coffin kind of shape and then they also have just the plain square. This is another of my favorite shades. And they also come in different lengths. And I'm sorry, I forgot to mention that the Impress is actually the Kiss brand and I buy those the most. The last thing I wanna talk about, I did a video a while back about how to do these, but these are my Color Street nail strips. I have a few of my favorites. This one right here is It Takes Tucson, which I believe is not available anymore, but of course, purple and blue, love. This is another called Pool Intentions. I think this was limited to. They come out with different ones for different times of year. So when I find something I like, I stock up on it. This last one though, really, really glamouflage. Like you can't even get this in the salon. I would love to see somebody. Well, maybe you can, cause I take that back. I've seen some designs on nails that are absolutely crazy, but I absolutely love this and I couldn't do this myself. So. I will use this on my regular nails. I will also use this on 
glue on nails that are just clear. So I love having different options. If you have trouble keeping nails polished on, you find that it chips a lot, these are great alternatives for that. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, I just wanted to share some products with you real quick that I've been loving for my nail care and stuff that has allowed me to be able to switch it up, still be a little glam, and it's not doing damage to my nails. The Madame Glam gel nails, you do have to soak off. If you peel them, it will take some of the layers of your nail off. So make sure you do that correctly. I'm excited about this polish because I really think it's gonna last through my meat and it is going to be a great long-term solution to help my nails not feel so thin all the time. So thank you, Madam Glam, for sending this kit over and allowing me to share it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and let me know below if you're gonna try it out. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.